welcome to episode four. Mm. Oh, episode four. We're coming into it with some reggae. Coming to you live on a beautiful uh, afternoon here. We got an early start. Um, this is uh, This, That, and The Other. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Dude, it took us so long to drop that second episode. You know what I forgot is we have podcast listeners. Or we're getting, you know, yeah. we're set up, so yeah. So I have to remember when we're speaking because I've been. I notice in a lot of the footage, it's, I'm I'm all about the cameras and talking to the cameras. But I yeah, we, we gotta start thinking who, about our audio listeners for sure. In. So hey guys, thanks so much for downloading us and uh, listening to us. Do they have to download us? Or do they just stream oh yeah, us? they gotta start downloading us because you guys are gonna start finding us not only on iTunes, SoundCloud, anywhere where you can find some of the major podcasts, but you're also gonna be checking us on a website. Oh yeah, we are getting a damn website. Hey, look, man, if you want control, you My can God. fucking kick control. Well, do I, I mean, I'm over here, what, with the whole mashugana and everything? Yeah, I'm like, supposed I to know exactly what you, when you're going to be like... You're just going to chill and be my peacock right there and just look handsome? Like, pretty pull much. The, pull That's the weight, cuz I need you on it. I've been insisting for everybody out there. And again, today this is going to be, you know what? I'm going to focus solely on this mic. This mic is my baby. You guys, the listeners... This well, speaking of the listeners, I need uh, I need someone to tell me: Is there a good soundboard to get for your uh, iPad? And yeah. if so, please let me know mm-hmm. because I'm looking and it's yeah, it's we're, kind we're of a pain to do this, uh, ass. Uh, Jay Leno uh, or not Jay? Le- well, Jay Leno had it with his drummer, right? Like the shenanigans that they were. Jay playing. Leno, yeah, and no, 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 Jay Leno had the guitar player, the black guitar player. And that's who Letterman had the dude with the glasses, the bald dude who was on keyboards. Oh, Somebody, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel has the roots. The roots. Yeah. All right. Well, um, yeah. How was the week? Rainy, cold. It is rainy. Stressed out over the fucking rendering process. We got to put all these videos through. It has Holy been shit, an man! Absolute nightmare. Uh, just getting everything kind of together has really been well figuring out the technical aspect of putting videos together and uploading it has been you forget just what a computer really what it takes with a computer you know a computer's a fucking car you know you forget it sounds stupid to say out loud but it it requires different parts it, it you yeah know, you can upgrade it you can make it well faster. especially There's when you start Ferrari. editing and color correcting and adding audio and then when you're editing you're having to make sure that everything's synced up like back in the day you can't upgrade a horse to be faster you know what i mean like you can't just you, you could th- there wouldn't be what do you mean horseshoes to make them I'm, well i'm Grip talking better. let's say in comparison to a honda civic to a ferrari like you can't take up sm- you can't make a horse you just get a Native American horse compared to a Persian horse, and one of them's better for one thing. They're one not thing. like at the. They're not at the saloon going. Oh yeah, I, I just put on some new Mac horseshoes on my on my horse. And hey, I bet you they did. I bet you they talked about their saddles you know being I'm a saying? little lighter. Like, I mean, my saddle's great, and it's fucking point like eight that grams lighter. Yeah, like I just rode all the way in. See from these Phoenix. spikes on my on my boots when I kick her. Handmade by Johnson out of <laughs> Phoenixville. Yeah, yeah, you know. Made by, yeah, some but Indian made guys by like Enzo Ferrari. This sa- oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> my my saddle is. Hey, that's why their their fucking thing's a horse, man. It's a hundred percent Italiano leather. Yeah, why do you think their the the Mustang was there back in Ford was making making horseshoes. Uh, that's a good point. Um, or horse boot shoe spike things. Been been a pretty good week. Uh, I mean, it's, the rendering's been insane. Um, yeah. Work's finally picking back up, thank God. Um, Luckily, we got some buddies that are, you know, fucking helping, giving oh, us some knowledge. Yeah, no. we've And, and again, not only uh, for the viewers like you um, and, of course, the listeners, but everybody's really stepped up. Um, obviously, we can't do any of this without, you know, our producer, Jane. Um, you know, invaluable. Our, Thank you, Jane. Wherever you may be out in the world, and you, the listeners, behind the lights. If we had effects where it would be clapping, that would be where the clapping effects would be. So, um, <laughs> what what is that? Anti tuck tank guns. And uh, yeah, they, that, that, that was very Middle Eastern of us right to now. party. I like this. This is peak. This is peak equality. I think this is this is good. Peak equality would have been once a man, once a woman. Oh, you're right. You're right. I think this <laughs> is uh, a good demonstration. Peak of equality the- would be that guy fighting those two. I'd watch that. <laughs> I, this though is is there. You know, there some people that you just wouldn't meet in an alley. I would not. Yeah, uh, you'd have to fight them like a man. You probably have to fight them when you have sex with them. 
I don't know about that. You know that. what I mean? Like, they, they, she, <laughs> like, you walk in and there's rose petals and you're like, nice. And then you get into the fucking room. She jumps and on your back and you start just, scrapping. <laughs> she's like, all right, motherfucker, you want a piece of this? And then you hear the Street Fighter guy go, fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, like, look in the corner. He's over there hanging out. You're like, oh, what the fuck? Um, let's see. We, uh, Sam of All Trades was dropped this week, which is very cool. Um, nice yeah. little uh, peek. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so good. I fucking love it. Oh, I hate it, but I love it so much. It's so good. Yeah, Sam um, of All Trades got dropped. And I, you know what? One thing I am proud about that is that it's all done on a phone and an iPad. Uh, it's It goes to show you how far technology's come. And we still m- can't go to the moon. Well, yeah, that's what they say. Well, Chinese have. but Allegedly. Um, what I'm saying is it's like rendering all these files and doing this all like super pro is taking us literally days to render to put the video together to mm-hmm. upload and yeah. then meanwhile i'm just doing this little, little five six minute segments 15 minutes i have it the podcast we're, we're able to get out a little bit quicker now you know because it's just audio mm-hmm. so usually for the most yeah. part like yeah, yeah, know, i don't yeah. have to do any like post editing but we do all the you know we, we, we like to but this give eye fucking, candy out to the viewers yeah. our table is alive and that's what i'm that's what i'm bringing it back i want to bring it back to our roots like our grass roots when we started this we started this with the green we were, table you remember when we started Right, but remember our goal? Our goal was to, to speak to the people. It was to hold coffee mugs for awkwardly long amount of time. I need another one, just, by the way. I just need two. I just feel like <laughs> we're all hyped up on on wild turkey and bacon. So <laughs> fucking, it's a, man, it's a man day or a woman day. No, Women it's love a man whiskey day. and bacon. That's a man day right there. <laughs> um, Let's see. Uh, or here's a, here's a man day here. Like that. For those of you guys who can't see, Sam is uh, mimicking all, all, uh, some type of duck. No, I wasn't mimicking. That was my voice. Okay. All right. Well, that that's. I mean, I, I can't think of. I have a couple notes. Um, Wait. So yeah, how was your week? The by week? the way, other than no, being cold and rendering, chill. It, was, it was it was a lot of work. But I don't um, listen to you, so you need to tell me again. You know, work was work was you know busy again. Thank God. You know, we're kind of trying to get over this slump and and trying to you know get through the slow times that are the holidays out here in Los Angeles. So. Yeah. But it's it's going it well, and this slow. is moving along. It's actually been an extra slow week uh, for tattooers. I've been hearing other tattooers mm-hmm. from all around town have been saying that it's been exceptionally dead. Because yeah. nor- you don't get four days of rain in a row in Los Angeles. You get two at the most. Right, but right. four days in a row, nobody was coming out. Yeah, no, it's uh, it, it's just one of those things that um, just it's seasonal, you know. So um, I'm just happy that we're kind of over the over that mark. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Just really ramping up with the stuff. Um, just got a lot of content just really pumping out. It's the stress of having two jobs and not one of them paying. I was talking about that to someone else the other day. I was like, no, I was working my ass off on my days off. I didn't get paid. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was like, it's it's getting kind of stressful. And especially when I come to my work and it's a zero day. Mm. I've had a couple of those. So I had two jobs paid zero. Yeah. Yeah, and so I was kind of kind of in a bummy mood this last week. I don't know if it's the weather, but yeah, when you're ma- when you're working hard and you're broke yeah. and you're not getting any compensation, yeah. it puts you kind of in a bad mood. Yeah, yeah, it makes you want to go uh, to directly to the needle, and that's what today's theme is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what needle? We, what? Um, but no, that's that's you know we're we're. That's it for the week. What? I don't have I don't have any any other any other week. What stuff. is today's theme? Ah, uh, you put me on the spot. Uh, Should we say today's theme is don't give up even when things are hard? I don't know. I feel like we've been oddly positive lately. Switch. Let's switch. A, what, what, what was, was the last, last theme? Ah, <laughs> uh, but that's not even dropped yet. For it. Last theme. Well, I mean, I'm hope. Well, with the way we're moving, that's what I'm saying. Like, and that's the thing. You guys may be getting an influx of. The podcast so that we can get caught the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... You guys may be getting back-to-back doses. I'm, well, I'm making eye contact with our producer right now. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but I want to I want to get us fucking caught up. Yeah. So that... Well, one, the technology, the hardware is the main issue. Well, that's what that, I'm saying. We, we we now are in a position where I can render... I'm Like, if, I, if I'm going to dedicate today, which I'm... Again, I'm going to see how far into the day I can... And how long it's going to take, you know, with, you know, the other person that we're going to have showing up. Um, but I'd like to try and get everything together and, and yeah. crank it all out and, and get all the audio ready and start 
start updating. So at least we have a bunch in our back pocket to start dropping off. Because I mean, we have olden times TV. Because we may not have that. Yeah. You know who knows? Like we have olden times TV. We have Sam of all trades. We have this, that, and the other. And then we're gonna start working on the one Yelp thing and possibly the bong thing. Yeah. Your bong, your, your your satanic bong, which yeah. is funny. Um, so right now we have so many episodes on those three that are already being dropped, that are being rendered. We have we have some in our back pockets. Yeah, man, it's a lot. And at, at some point, all right, enough about the hot dog cooking. Okay, but well, I'm just saying at some point we're gonna have to start narrowing it down. When we start getting all the analytics, yeah. we're gonna start noticing like, oh, let's let's hit this a little more. It's interesting. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying learning all about this. All right. Well, what are we listening to? What is this? <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the zombie What is today's theme? I don't know. I'm looking at you. I mean, I'm looking at him. <laughs> I'm looking at him, guys. You I hit think... me. Hit me because I'm I'm over here trying to look at the board. Uh, well. My, not that I don't have our formula. Well, down. it's our rant corner essentially right now. If okay. we're going to have a rant corner. Anything you, you, you want to rant about? Oh, we have to. So, Money. rant corner. Fucking. Hold on. This is going to be a fucking rant corner music for sure. Wait, hold on. Is it just like a general? Well, I guess that calls. I guess we're going to. Okay. This is my ra- fucking rant corner. My rant right. corner. Uh, so what's up? I need more fucking that's money. That's not a good rant. That's a wild rant. <laughs> no, and no, no, plays no. it again, and that's rant corner. It, uh, yeah, and that's rant corner. No, my rant corner is. Um, it's not necessarily a rant. It, I mean, I guess it is. I'm just. I'm tired of okay. All this technology that we're, we're using, we're having to buy stuff and this and that. Mm-hmm. It just seems like. There's a lot of problems with, like, for example, the cameras that stop off at every 20 minutes, half hour to get over um, le- legislation because oh, to make you heard it not about a- that little thing. Yeah, well, no, I've known about it because I, because I, I watched some reviewers that are like, I can only film 20 minutes or um, transferring information to another thing. There's so many little nuances and things that fuck you over and things that cost money and. It's just it's it's starting to get a little frustrating that technology. It's like let's all. Everyone should take their their ideas, all these different com- companies, and figure out what is a way that we all, instead of buying this cord for this one thing, and we're having to find this cord with this opening, and then a converter so we can put these two cords. There's just too much going on. So communism. You want everybody to operate in their sort of the same. Start. Yeah, just unification. Like, at least have two word. or three, I guess, different options for different sure reasons. I get it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't need. I don't need. I'm right. No, no. Me. I'm making noises for myself, like oh. while you're ranting, just to. I just. I'm tired of, like, just dealing with this tower over there, and then figuring out. Oh, it's not the tower itself. It's the cord going to the tower because it's not fucking strong enough. Well, the tower's a yeah. motherfucking beast, yeah. and I guess this motherfucking beast has been put on like vegetable oil and can't move. Yeah. Is is what I'm. St- it's it's, it's just it's analogy. frustrating that you can have a monster of a. Of a, of a of a technology of a machine, and this one little insignificant, or maybe a dial or something, just makes it almost obsolete in the whole thing. And I'm just technology is fucking frustrating. As much as I love it, as much as it's supposed to make things easier, like for example, I use technology to draw for tattooing. I'll sometimes notice I'm working my ass off on this one drawing when I could have just drawn it out, you know. And I'm like, well, I'm copying this, I'm pasting mm-hmm. this, I'm drawing over this, I'm adding colors here, I'm taking this out, here's another layer. And I do all this work when I could have just sat there and drew it out in one go. Right, right. Yeah. So it's it's like we're reaching over our shoulder to wipe wipe our ass. It's I what like it feels that. like sometimes. I like that. You're just full of of, of so wholesome colloquialisms. Yeah, I'm just I like it. I like that we're able to do the green screens and everything like that. But it's like now that we have three fucking cameras and then we have, you know, we got mics yeah, for the and everything listener, like that. Now we got we're lights. Recording. Well, is the lights good enough? Is our background blah, blah, blah. It's like. It does get a lot. It becomes a lot. It's a lot. Um, I just wish there was an easier method for some of this because it seems like. That's part of the effort, though, I guess, like going through that. and I can't complain too much because now technology is easy, easy enough that everyone can do it. Yeah. I get that. And like they're little African kids who are trying to put podcasts together. Well, exactly, and, have, like, and like like doing the same of all trades all through my phone and through the iPad. It's amazing, yeah. but when you walk away from that, why is that so easy? But this is so fucking hard. 
because that's how Apple works. They, you know, they streamlined everything. Yeah, I just the apps like the stuff. color correction and it's that. What's like? What is there to correct? Is did it not pick up the fucking thing that I'm seeing? Yeah, but I mean, look at it. I, I, I feel I can't look up at your rant. That's unfair. Right. I, I, that's the point of the rant corner. It's, well, it's right. It's I'm un, just saying, like, I'm, I'm, I'm ranting. There's no, there's no answer. So to the it. rant is ranting. technology needs to be more unified, like Apple. Yeah, I'm not saying it like like Apple. I'm just saying. Yeah, like, yeah, no, saying no. It, it, it for sure Apple. needs to be a little more unified. I feel like, uh, well, even Apple's does this. It's where they get a fucking they they get a laptop. It comes out. They have a new charger port. Okay, well, the last fucking cord you had for your last laptop is obsolete now. Yeah. So now you have to buy this new thing, yeah. and then they're going to change it up. And I and I get it could be money, but think about it this way: Are they streamlining the energy going to your battery better? Mm-hmm. You know, if that's the case, then okay, I get it. But if it's about money, that's where I'm getting upset because it's like you motherfuckers, you're just making it hard for everyone. Oh, I brought all my my shit over. Oh, I don't have my cord. Do you got a cord? I do, but it's from last year's Apple. It's like mm, fuck, man. Like, what's the point then? Yeah. yeah, they're doing it for a buck. Is, is it? And, and, and again, I'm not there. I'm not. I'm not the motherfuckers making a decision. So is it for a buck, or did they figure out? No, this cord actually charges up the battery faster. I feel you. You know, that's so. a good rant. Thank you. That's a good rant Thank corner. You. Fuck you, technology. All right. That was good, man. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. I, 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 rant corner. Technology. Technology is fucking, and it's taking too much <coughs> time. That's another rant. All right. So uh, let's go to uh, uh, random stories in Brian's notepad. Uh, what's the random stories in Brian's notepad? So right. tell me, Brian, what are these random stories right, in your dive. notepad? Let's dive on in. All right. So first thing on my notes, <clears throat> a little gentleman called Benedict Allen. Ben- yeah, I know. With a name like Benedict, what do you expect? Yeah, the only Benedict that you know is your bent dick. Where's no. the F? Uh, I, I didn't like it. The only Benedict that? that I like Your life's is Benedict sham. Arnold. Nah, I don't know. Benedict Eggs or whatever. Yeah. All right. And see, into that joke. Yeah. So so heavy hangs the uh, the head with the crown over there. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'll get my own board. We need to get you a better setup. Anyways, Benedict Allen, okay? Okay. Explorer. Likes to go out. So he's Benedict Arnold's shit. brother, Benedict Allen? He's just a guy named Benedict. Benedict Allen, just okay. a dude. Not he goes back. out there, goes into indigenous places, and he and he meets tribes, and he just he's about survival in the wilderness. Well, my boy Benedict, 1987, he's like, you know what? I'm going to the Amazon, homie. It'll be tight. I like mosquitoes. I like the river. <laughs> I like giant centipedes all over. It'll be the tits. Yeah, Meeting okay. indigenous motherfuckers. Life. Did he get eaten? Hold up. Did he eat people? My boy Benedict, right? Goes in there, meets a bunch of uh, tribesmen and shit. And becomes Doctor Strange. It's the tits. Julia Roberts movie. People love each other. It's great. But then, gets jumped by a bunch of locals. They steal all his shit, take his sneakers, throw them up on the lightning ra- uh, the little fucking rails. Fuck him over. He's all scared. No! All wait, right. wait. They, 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 they steal his shit and throw him up on what? No, I was joking. I was saying that they took his sneakers. Like, you oh, know, like when you whoop oh, somebody's okay, okay, ass okay, and you okay. take their shoes and you're like... You, yeah. I don't know. If They're nice Jordans. I'm keeping them. I'm not throwing them up on a fucking Like, you've, you've knocked bolt. a couple people out. Do you ever take their sneakers after? No, I check their pockets, though. I always take the sneakers. No, I, That's check, as, I as, check their pockets. I throw their keys, though. If you ever wake up without your sneakers, you know it's because <laughs> Brian Brian's gotcha. a care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so um, he wakes up. He doesn't have his sneakers. He's like, no. And so, like, he, you know, in the Amazon, like, you know, no money, no anything. Like, fuck. Like, got the shit beat out of him. And he meets a dog. And uh, he takes care of the dog. The dog is a limp paw. He's like, I love you, homie, because I ain't got nothing either. Yeah, and we're, so, we're like, both in this together. And so he takes care of the dog. And then him and the dog start walking because they have nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. So he, he's walking, he's walking. And my dude gets lost in the fucking woods. Because apparently in the Amazon, there, when you go in there, there are places that are so covered in canopy that there's no light that can come through. And it's yeah. essentially called like the darkness. And like yeah. you can't find your way out of there sometimes. And yeah. people get lost and die in there. I feel you. And so he's in there and he gets stuck in the canopies. And he's like, he's like moving and he's doing all that. And then um, 
uh, it gets like a week or two in and he gets like jaundice or and he gets malaria or whatever it is that the fucking disease that you get in the Amazon for just fucking breathing in the fucking <laughs> Amazon like you're just trying to fucking live and the Amazon's like oh no not today no, like you're fucking done here's AIDS but so he's there and then uh and then yeah he hits that point man he hits that wall and he's like I need to eat something and he's like I have Did no he, food he ate the dog he ate his buddy his dog on some i am legend shit and he survived my boy benedict allen ate his he did the scenario you and i set up for each other all the time That's but he sad, committed but oh he, it, he but said it, wasn't it was his, his dog he said it was his biggest regret it was it was his dog you know what i mean no matter how small was it or, his biggest regret because after he ate it the last little bite he took people caught found him hey Oh shit! It's like the end of the fog. Hey, senor! Spoiler alert! It's like yeah. the end of the fog. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> everything's good. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, the end of the fog is wild, bro. Yeah. Like, and everybody's dead. But yeah, no, he ate his dog, and he got rescued a couple days later or something. Or like, and he wouldn't have made it if he didn't eat the dog, though. Dude, he said he only bugs. ate a couple bites too, which sucks. Like, I guess we had enough to keep him going, but I guess he, you know, we. I don't think he had fire. Or something. He was an insane tale. Like, Dude, if you're gonna fucking look, if I was there in the middle of the Amazon. And I got my dog, or this new dog that we're wearing it together. And I'm like, oh, I'm dying. Just flip a fucking rock over. Flip a fucking rock over. Pick a grub and eat a couple grubs. Bro, you just caught malaria by breathing Amazon air. Like, can you imagine? I wouldn't, I couldn't trust myself trying to eat shit in there. I'm like eating people grubs. Over eating the dog. Yeah. Yeah, it was wild. That dog. Well, then has that's diseases. what separates men like that you and dog. me and Benedict Allen. No, no, no. Homie. That dog has diseases. That dog has parasites. Benedict Allen doesn't care. Yeah. He well, Benedict care. Allen was, wasn't smart enough he to would fucking eat just mom, eat a couple of grubs homie. or a fucking giant grasshopper. Benedict Allen would eat he his didn't even mom. even know how to make a fucking fire. If he got lost on the way to the store, he would eat his mom. Mom. That's the brutal gangster that Damn, Benedict, Benedict Allen is. He, his mom would take the wrong turn and he'd be like, That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> you it. Get over here. <laughs> get over here. So that was, that's one of the first things uh, that I wanted to talk about. So hit me. So that's the tale. Benedict Allen eating his dog. Uh, I don't know. That, that's just an insane story. Um, that I was thinking so about. again, flip a motherfucking rock over if you're out in the wilderness and the big, juicy, Fucking gross looking white yeah. sludgy things. Yeah. Eat those guys. Timon They're full and of protein. They taste like earth, I heard. Yeah. Um, you heard. Well, because I've watched so much of that survivor bullshit. <laughs> um, I think it says, is it, what does it say about me that I feel weird about commenting how nice the sky looks to people, to like men? Well, Even to women, okay. Like, okay, and, and well, hold on. Is it? Does it? Because here I got it here written it out in my notes, homie. If you had <laughs> notes like your boy written down, then maybe I'd be like, read here's your, a note. Read your notes. So when I comment about the sky yeah. to men, look, is it gay? That was the wrong way to say it. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I guess what it boils down to now Work that I'm rereading notes. my notes because I do a lot of these on the fly, so half of these are like all fucked up, but. I guess uh, why is it that just let's say saying. Hey man, the sky looks really pretty today, or like looks nice today. To a, nobody gives a shit in Los Angeles when you say it, right? But what I'm boiling down to is what I'm saying is like you can say that to like let's say like your homie, and you're again depending on your relationship with that person, you know that can be you know it can be taken into different things. But like let's say I say that exact same thing to you, and I'm like, hey man, the sky sure looks nice today, and you're like, uh, yeah sure, and then like you say that or, or you don't because you're I would look LA. over at you and go. Yeah, I guess. I Weird, guess. right? Like, okay, and but then like you say the same thing to a girl or a woman, and then what's the the consensus on her end at that point? It's uh, why is this dude trying to hit on me, or why is this? Do you think that boils down to just the the statement in itself, like, hey, the sky looks really nice today, or could you say anything and be look, like, the hey, sky look, has to be puddle. exceptionally nice for you to mention anything about the sky? And if let's say you know it's like a sunset in Arizona where you have all the spectrum of the colors, and <laughs> so, you're standing okay, there at so a red that's light, you're about back. to cross the damn street. <laughs> dude, you're hitting the head. I would the nail just be like, head. you're right. Whoa, the sky looks crazy. Okay, so maybe I am wrong. So maybe my note is is how do you pitch it? <laughs> how, do you, how do you pitch the sky is pretty to? Yeah. Someone without sounding like an idiot. Well, there's got to be something retard. exceptionally up there. It can't but just why be a can't blue the, sky. But why can't the sky just look 
pretty and then me just be like, hey, man. Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't need to hear it from you. I see it, too. That's like saying I'm cold. It's like, yeah, it's cold out here. I'm cold, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, why that made me laugh so much when I was thinking about it and I wrote the notes down. But, like, why can't I just... <laughs> uh, whatever. I don't know, man. But anyways, um, okay, let's see what else well, do just I have may, Just maybe it's your delivery. Maybe it's your delivery on how, how you tell people. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So um, I'm getting closer and closer to the point in my life where I'm going to strip clubs not to see women dance, but to find an organized stripper who can help me balance my checkbook and, and is just a generally organized uh, stripper. Why don't you find someone who does it? Does I'll explain. <laughs> I got I got I got my notes here. Okay. All right. Mm. So, an organized stripper, one unicorn. Okay. Very rare. Rarely do you find an organized stripper. And 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 I'll tell you how you find one. That no. Wait. Hold on. Before, oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. No, no. You're good. You're good. The way you know she's a professional stripper. Mm. And no, 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 no. That's a bad term because anybody can say that they're a professional st- no, 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 stripper. No, no, no. And I'll tell. No, no. I mean. A pro pro. I'm not talking about oh a stripper who's been doing it for like five an organized years. well. Held when together. you see, yeah. I've only been to a strip club a couple, of, a couple of times. Yeah, <laughs> what are you fucking? <laughs> Where's the board on that one, fucker? <laughs> Boo. But, um, long story short, I've been told you can judge a great stripper <laughs> by, <laughs> by, by what? <laughs> She's, you can tell that she's probably in her early 30s. Okay, okay. She's fit as fuck. Okay. She has her shit together. Okay. She goes up there and does her routine. Okay. Knows what to say. It's not, she never does drugs or drink, uh, you know, on, while she's at work. Um, you could tell there's a professionalism. It's like when you see an athlete. Okay. You know, when you see a roller, now, they now, got the shoulders. When okay. When you see a professional stripper, okay. they look like they fucking work out. They're gymnasts every day because they're working so much. They're, they're, it's, now... Replace all those great attributes, mm-hmm. right? And then replace the stripper job with a marketing exec. Okay. So, and, and again, say this goes back down, to, this goes back down to someone giving me the inside information on the, because I've only been there a couple of times. Right, right. But um, when they have outside curricular activities, so like they are still, you know, they've, they've already had their masters or whatever the yeah. fuck. And they, they do this just because it's fun. They enjoy it. But and they, make they money. take they take it hard. They don't they don't fuck around with the girls in the locker rooms. You can tell because they're they smile, but they're serious. Like it's it's, it's not, business. Yeah, it's business. It's business. It's business. They're there to do business. It's like the they burrito up, people. They're they just here to routines. make burritos. And um, <laughs> and again, like I said, you could tell just because it's not like they're fit because okay. of the job that they do. <laughs> They're not fucked up, so they have their shit together. <laughs> they probably have a couple kids, so you know what I mean? It, you can uh, tell that they've balanced their uh, life. Because when you see a stripper who doesn't have their life balanced, they're uh, a mess. It's chaos. Or this and that. It's, it's chaos. complete chaos. So, to so you, I won, you have to basically, first of all, you'd have to know how to judge the horse uh, uh, before you, 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 you put really money on the race. Turn. Yeah. I'm just saying, like before you, before you put money on the race, you got to you, I mean, you see, okay, now that one's all fucked they're up not, on pills. <laughs> That one's new to the job. That one's a reoccurring, and she it's just a disaster. Right. Oh, that's a pro. Right. You know, every once in a while, you'll see a pro that does it. It's been doing it forever, and they don't they, they don't fall into any of the pitfalls yeah. of the game. They've seen it all, yeah. and it's usually the ones that the younger girls that look up to because the madam. It's it's yeah. Back to you. Yeah, I didn't need to peel the onion down that well, but you did it. That's what I'm saying, and and that that so you got find that a- backs my point up. You know, to the punchline of the joke. Yeah. You know, which writes itself, evidently. Well, yeah. So you're basically trying to find a stripper that can keep and good books. An organized Because stripper. they have to keep, again, it comes down to the pro. She has to keep good books. It's all cash. And then the punchline is take that stripper uh, position, you know, the name of the stripper, and then just replace it with any marketing advisor. And you have a woman that you'd be pleased to take home to mom. Just don't tell her what she used to do. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> what I mean. Like, that's the point of my thought right there is they're so organized. They're so on top of their stuff. A stripper. So you're going to go scout some uh, potential. But it wouldn't be like, hey, I'm going to find a professional organized prostitute. Like, that's not. Well, strippers aren't prostitutes. That's what I'm saying. There's a, there's a line. Like, the to me, the stripper idea of it is. 
Yeah. That's why it's funny. You're dissecting my joke. Yeah. I'm just trying to I'm trying to work well, more I things you were about to go Play get me it. into another thing, you goof. Well. You're destroying my joke. <laughs> I thought Fucker. we were having a serious conversation. It was a good joke. And then this guy over here decided to jump into strippers and their economy and how fit they were. Well, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, you she's can quite tell, fit, man. You can tell... A professional you can tell stripper the difference from between. a non-professional stripper if you have the eye for it. You can tell a girl who's been doing this for quite some time. She could have been doing it for quite some time, but is she a mess because of it? Or does she have her life together? All the Sheilas I've seen on the pool have their life together. <laughs> but if your Sheila looks like she's carrying a joey in a pouch hanging down to the bottom of the floor, it's not she out. She sell some C-section. Looks yeah, like she yeah. had a pouch sewn back up. Yeah, the only thing they're putting on her, Bobby, is a dinkum... Uh, Foster's. Uh, Foster's. Um, but that seems to be the end of my notes. I'm trying to find, dude. Uh, I need to get these more organized. I told. I say this. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> so that's uh, that's today's uh, <laughs> scintillating sound effects. This is called scintillating sound I'll effects. Like, uh, play, but uh, let me hear it. Trains? Trains are scintillating. There's waves, there's doors, door slamming, metal metal door, impact all right, hit. All right. Ooh, you go to jail. Alright, so so um I think uh theme wise today, uh to sort of uh encompass everything overall, um this probably centered on our boy Benedict, Mr. Allen. And um Doing what you have to do to get things done. Um, well, how the far sense that are I'm you willing getting. to go? You look back at the technology rant. Yeah. You know what are you doing to do what you want to do, and that's us. How much effort we put into these things? You look at Benedict Allen. He did what well, he had your to fail. do to eat his dog. How, okay, I'll take that a step further. Hit me. What with is it. your fail threshold? Reword that. So essentially, most people's fail threshold. That's a little hard. I'm going to stop. Benedict fucking went all the way. Okay, so you're, are you asking me like on a personal level? Well, I'm just saying I... like these, this was hard. We could have stopped. You know, we said, eh, it's fucking hard. You know, maybe we'll try something else. Okay. What I'm saying is, you know, fail threshold. So Benedict mm. didn't fail. He fucking went all the way okay. to live. Okay. How far are we willing to go for this podcast and channel? Right, right. You know, um, when strippers. So the question is... <laughs> Uh, the question is, uh, when, when, it, what is your own personal, like quit quitting? Like, what, what is your? How far your are you willing wall? to go? How far are that's, you willing to? Go? Okay, yeah. So that's, I guess, the theme. Yeah, the theme I think should be how far are okay. you willing to go? So here's here's an interesting. <clears throat> ah, bruh, bruh. I'm about to drop it. Let's hear it. Oh, man. You know what you are? You're a pretty sky, my guy. Like, yeah, yeah, sometimes, I fucking, sometimes I fucking, you know, you're usually gray, but today that's a good one. That's it's a, a little, gray sky outside. That's the I blue, have to be blue out the cloudy gray, homie. Okay. What are you willing to do? Interesting. Um, <clears throat> let's look at the Japanese scientists. And mm -hmm. the Nazi scientists that we saved after the war, mm -hmm. just as an example. We didn't save them. We kind of was like, you we got didn't some exchange. Ideas. Well, we saved them. If they hadn't done that, they would have gone against the tribunal and they would have gone to jail. And they would they would have yeah. been. So we stuck them in our own dungeons to keep doing. So this we stuff. said, hey, we'll give you guys a chance to come over here, yeah. take all the information that you yeah, had. We had to split now, those with the Russians. Yeah. One. Okay, so at that at that point, you know, what are you willing to do to maintain peace? You know, I would have done exactly that. Look, you keep, you gotta get dark. Gotta when, get when dark. You got when you got world things, you, it's statistics. It's take humanity and morality out of it. What are you willing to do? So when you get to that point, and let's say you're those powers to be, mm -hmm. and you get that executive order, that conversation piece where they're going, hey, by the way, you know, we we've gathered all of the scientists that we know did this and the aliens and dealt with all that what do you want us to do with it someone hit that same whether it was truman or whoever hit that same position you know to drop the a-bomb figuratively and say hey you know what let's offer amnesty to these people because 
we know that the benefits are going to outweigh everything else. You know, they're so intelligent, you know, and so, you know, how, how far is a person willing to go? Are you Benedict Allen? Are you willing to eat your dog for your dream? Are you us willing to, you know, uproot your life and, you know, leave your house behind and a comfortable living behind? And, you know, are you willing to live in the woods? You know, are you willing to, you know? I am willing to kill millions to, to save, save billions. billions. Yeah. 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 I, 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 and, it's, and, and there's, you so know. So let's take it a step further than at that point. Let's say you're dealing with just a hundred people. You know, and, and they I'll say. See, I'm a bad person. I don't, I don't, okay, I have some empathy, but I'm pretty cold when you, if you're going to ask me statistics and things like that. No, I, it's not statistics. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, obviously, and this is a stupid statement. And again, I'm just saying this out loud because. We don't have a lot of content for this show, right? But uh, let's you know when you know a person face to face within that hundred people in your tribe. I think those decisions obviously become a lot tougher because you're you're putting a name to the face. If I'm looking at my tribe and there's a hundred of them, and there's a hundred people, and let's and say you two have of a these doctor, motherfuckers are sick, and they're gonna get the rest of these hundreds. I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry, guys, out. Like we're gonna take you out. Or you walk this way and you don't come back. Is that the only way to succeed? That's what I meant. That, that, the other one where no, they banish had technology him. and scientists to figure out what their diseases were, we'd quarantine them. We would do that thing. But, you know, again, and, and, and this is the thing. Okay, I hate to go towards this, but it's the same thing with the border wall. You know, when we had those camps recently and they're, mm -hmm. oh, they're, they're tearing families apart. Look, I'm sorry. You came into a, a, a different nation and, you know, we can't just leave you outside in a wilderness when we when when you when we have to start processing you here's a fucking camp your kids haven't been inoculated you, can, right. you have no, everyone's sick we're going to fucking separate everybody we're going to make sure no one we're not bringing diseases into, into right, this right. country this is not a car you know and it comes down to people need to take the heart and 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 feeling out of real world like hard decisions because okay. if you start making hard decisions okay have a little bit of empathy look maybe we could put a glass wall between the family so that way the kids and them can talk to each other mm -hmm. whatever you want to do but if people need to be separated for a certain uh, medical or scientific reason ah uh, dude all those lab rats animals and everything that died for for research it's so that we can have medicine and, and put whatever that you use uh, on and there's a reason behind it, and, and as, as terrible as it is, because God, I hate seeing like horrible things happen to animals. What's the greater good? You know, what's the greater good? So, mm -hmm. if you have a hundred people in front of you and ten, and again, what, where does it stop? Do you kill ten people to well, save the ninety? Well, that's what, and that that brings us a perfect segue into what you were originally asking. You know, where where's your cutoff point? Where does it get to the point where you? Because I I just. I'm I'm a word wizard, and I just flipped your question on you. How, where where is your cutoff point? Where is it to the point where you have to sit back and literally go? I don't know, like that, like I, where you say I don't know. Where you, you, well, whether where you're like I don't know, where you're like no, fuck this, I can't do this anymore. Like I can't. Would you kill forty nine people to save fifty one people? Uh, are you, you're just I'm asking. Are you just saying a general hypothetically? Question. Just would like you, would me. hypothetically. Uh, now right. you could get into the sem semantics. Okay, well, the forty-nine. How many of them are elders, and how many and of them are young? Know, and the fifty-one. And right, right. You know, it comes down to that. Would you know it, 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 how you got to get? So, would you say then at that point that your threshold, your end, would be making that decision? Maybe not for you because you just said yourself. You know, but let's say, and and you know, you're in a room. You're looking if you at take two complete emotion out of it. Wait, 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 wait. You're looking the at two, there. You're looking at two Pyrex boxes. Inside are 49 people, and on the other side, there's 51. Joker-style Batman, Yeah, you, you, you decide. At that at that point, you... Statistics say that person, you got to go towards the 51. You, that's, that's what you wouldn't... That wouldn't be your cutoff point. You wouldn't hit a point where you would be like, no, I'm not going to do then this. Then they all die. I guess if that's the other that's side what I'm of saying. it. That's if, right. if, yeah. if it's... Yeah, if they, you know what I mean. So, so having a group of a hundred people—that's why the people at the top, top that are making all these decisions better not have any moral issue. Like there better not be any morality in their that, and they don't put a face to the hot dog. Things become a lot more difficult when you when you've seen those 
Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and I guess the best example at that point would be like, okay, you're looking at the same situation. Let's say you don't. If I have to look at my dog's eyes before I eat it. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's gonna be rough. You know what I mean? But you. But again, that's not your cutoff point. You would. You would be like, I have to do this because someone's gonna shoot me in the head unless I eat my dog. There's no for you. There's no fuck this. Shoot me, homie. Oh yeah, no. You, Fucking, you, you um, get. I mean, that's the question you're it'd asking, be hard. right? What's, I'm not what's saying it wouldn't be hard, but yeah, I'd be. Mm -hmm. I'd have to. You do what you got to do, man. Your own you leg? were put in a situation. It's like it's like when the Viet Cong used to take uh, um, prisoners of war and make them play Russian roulette. Yeah, you know. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. The, you, uh, but but that's your choice at that point. Your cutoff point in that situation is like, okay, fuck you, Survival kill Survival of the fittest. And you just go 100% all you the way. Fucking... I'm just asking the question you were asking me. I'm just yeah. trying to no, get No, survival a, of an, the an fittest. And if you have to make the hard decisions at the top, you know, <sighs> fucking Lord help you. But uh, don't put any emotion into it. It's all numbers at that point. You know what was a great uh, book that put that into perspective for me, which is really weird, was World War Z. Yeah. Yeah. World War Z, the book, not the fucking Brad Pitt movie. The book was amazing. And one of the interview, because it's a journalist who's interviewing all the people who survived the World War Z, um, talked to the man who had to write the the fail safe, the pamphlets for nuclear wars, for this, for, for any any anything that's a catastrophic catastrophic. Do we do we nuke? New York for whatever, you know, he, he came up with all these different scenarios and he had to literally just go by numbers, statistics. He's not thinking, fuck, man, I, we got to cut. It's like cutting your arm off to save your body. It's like mm -hmm. eating your, you know, a coyote eating his foot off. Yeah. So you could sit there and be stuck to the fucking thing and slowly die of gangrene or you can cut your foot off and keep living. You can't have emotional decision making when you're at that level, when it's worldwide. You know, that's why the captain of the ship has to make very hard decisions sometimes. But again, at the end of the day, he goes down with the ship. For unless, sure. Unless you're a part of the Costa Concordia, which in the end you end up going to prison. So that's the theme. Um, so what are you what willing, are you willing to, do? to do? Yeah. Yeah. You know, where's your cutoff line? What is your cutoff line? Because I don't have a, my cutoff line is survival or uh, the majority benefit. I think it'll always be survival. I'm, I'm, I'm always. Let's say you were, you were gonna survive regardless. Well, here's my, here's my, here, this will always be my perfect example is uh, the end of Armageddon, where Bruce Willis finds himself in a position to. Well, he's saving his daughter at that point. He's saving the world. I mean. Because he even if he even if he he it's, survives, it's, it's he'll a very, world to, to live to, on. For me, it's a very Kirk mentality. It's it's there's a there are no no win situations. And again, obviously, at the end of the story and what, whichever the only win he had follow. was that his daughter and the world was going to survive. That was his situation. But, but what I'm saying is, in that and for me, in that personal situation, he could have stuck there, Ben Affleck out there, there. Well, not well. There's that. Yeah. And again, there's this idea that you're going to tell me that you guys are on that ship and there's absolutely no way that you guys can jimmy rig this fucking bomb to blow up. Like, absolutely. You're going to. But would you put it, give it up to chance that that jimmy rig would fail? Me? And there's my threshold right there. And that's what I'm bringing it to. No, right? because it's a chance if, if, and again, if, if everything I'm... went wrong on that ride and then the fucking auto thing went out, button went out. If you leave it up to chance and you take off and that auto thing went out again, then you're just going to watch the fucking thing hit the hey, planet. Hey, bro. Rock and roll never dies, homie. Like, so, for me, no, in all honesty, you're, uh, I'm going to call you out on this. You're just saying that to be funny. No. No, I'm telling you. I firmly – I've always – I've talked – we've talked about this before. I don't I've care. always brought would, this up. You would literally – so you're Give saying you think me as – you knowing me for as long as you have, you think I'm the dude who would be like, you guys go. I'll pull the trigger. Probably not. You know what I mean? Like I don't think you would do it. I don't think either of us would. If my daughter was – was if I, Well, no. If I'm saying right down, now. I'm saying right now you and I put in that position where we have what well, we have Okay. Right there's now. a couple of things that would happen at that point. Is someone else volunteering? No, no, if I'm no one else us. is volunteering. It, the options are and you I could do be it, the the and the guy save who the saved the world. People. There'd be statues of me all around the planet. No, 
I I I'm, I wouldn't, and I I don't, and maybe you may. I I I'm not saying I, that in the sense that you wouldn't. I the think the situation you would have to be that put. would bring you to the top of a fucking asteroid. You would and need if a you're daughter. At that point, yeah. I think you're a little more heroic at that point because you've already gone, yeah, to space. Different breed. Yeah. I I feel yeah. you. Yeah, you're already taking that leap. You've already been there. You're like yeah. And I, I would have stuck Steve Buscemi on the fucking thing and been like, you I'm press a it. firm believer that they could have found a way. And and what to in, me, in that amount I, of time though, I don't. The time maybe, was counting down. Look, they, they this to, world smart. They put the whole. I can't. We're not going to see. We'll spend another hour punching holes into Michael Bay movies. Well, right. They're I mean, still the greatest movies of all time. But I'm just saying, like, wait. Okay, so let me let me rein it back in. I don't believe in an, and there are no win solutions. Obviously, life and death. We're not going to escape that one. It's going to happen. Yeah. So it's it, there are obviously situations where there's one way in and one way out. But I operate under this idea of Captain Kirk, where there's you there's always another option. Whether you hack a way into the the the. But what Karochi, if there's ten second countdown? That's what I mean. When you're put in that position, right? And let's say you, me, four other people running down a hallway at a door. Somebody has to hold this door open and we're not going to get out. Like, are you, are you the first person to go, you know what, guys? I got it. I'm do you think anybody inherently does that? Or do you have to have a daughter in that particular situation a la Bruce Willis and go, hey, this is why I'm doing these things. This is why no, I'm putting in this I, position. It obviously depends on the person and, and their moral, you know, their moral compass. Do you think you would? Um, it depends on the situation. Because if I was running down a you, hall. You, me, Jane, our producer, and your sister and, and her Nazi boyfriend or whatever. Or, or whatever. <laughs> running down the hall. Flood coming down. Flood coming down behind us. Guys, we're not going to survive this unless someone holds the fucking door open. For who? For the rest of the crew, and that other person gets stuck on the other side of the wall. Um, See? Yeah. It comes down to a straw game, and it comes down to what is your life worth versus... I would, I would, just, I would pick it up. I'd pick that door up. Like, <laughs> Everyone get through. And then I would side punch Jane in the face, and I'd slam it on her. Boom. There's another option. Yeah. There's always another option. There's no go through. There's I'm no. Sorry, Jane. There's no. And and in most situations, again, that's you hacking the bomb. On, but if on I was again. a 45 year old Bruce Willis with Liv Tyler as my daughter and 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 being able to save 7.5 billion people, then I would. I'm already. You, I'm already on the asteroid. So you won't. You I, I and that's I would what, be the biggest dick in the world. Right. Right. I'd, I'd be I'd be more of a dick than Hitler. So heroism until the fucking asteroid. So I'd be I'd be a bigger dick than Hitler for about ten to twenty seconds after I said, "Oh, sorry, I can't do it." So <laughs> would Bruce Willis, twenty years old, with not I, I I I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying because they they touch on that in in the movie. They're like, "Well, I don't want to," you know what I mean? It, and it puts everybody into the straw game position. Like yeah. nobody just steps up and goes. You know what, guys? So, like nobody in that movie was yeah. like old people. Sometimes. I'll do it, dudes. Like, oh, well, I, I just mean like uh, like an old person. I've seen you know a couple nah, of, where I, there's been like I'll 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 stay because back. it hits that point. It's usually a zombie apocalypse movie. I think where nobody wants to do it. Well, yeah, everyone wants to survive. Who wants to Who wants to not survive? But what are you willing to do? I am again, you know, willing to. Uh, Crazy, right? It depends on that situation. What are you willing yeah. to do? It's, it's like I said. On, Ben Affleck was about to go out there. Go on ahead. Go for it, buddy. They You're not going to be banging, banging my fucking, daughter for the next 30 years. They could have Jimmy rigged that fucking thing. Um, but that, but yeah, so. You How know, would you have Jimmy rigged it? I don't, I'm not a rocket scientist, homie. And like you had I would have 15 even, or 10 seconds to fucking Jimmy rigged it. It wasn't 15 or 10 seconds. That's what I mean. Like they knew it didn't go off. And then they were there. They communicated with, with Houston and they were like, the bomb's not going off. Like we don't know what to do. They go through the whole process of doing the straws, which I guarantee you took at least 30 minutes. You're telling not me. 30 minutes. You're telling me that nobody down there, a la Apollo 11, 13, is scrambling going, okay, so this is what we have on Again, the ship to I wouldn't get the want boys to come up back with the answer. Safe. I wouldn't want to come up with an answer because I need someone to be there to press it because I can't give it up to a fucking machine that might get jostled while so everything's your percentage earthquakes. at that point. That yeah, because I'm like, like, no, a person. Holy fuck, the machine. I didn't even think about that. Like, you, you. 
you couldn't. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. You couldn't. Uh, Hold on. What up, buddy? So right now for the podcast listeners, uh, we're actually oh, okay. All right, getting well, a, a uh, friend of ours uh, up here to deal you. with some of the technological aspects. Right. Uh, kind of give us all right, bye. Give us a little bit of throwdown. Yeah, so um, we're gonna have to take a little break, you guys. So, well, I mean, no, we're gonna no, have we have break. ten more minutes. We're gonna... I have to fucking go carry a bunch of boxes up. Is that is that what he's saying? Yeah. So she can't carry anything up. I gotta carry. So let's just do a little break. We're gonna have to do a little break in this thing. Well, let's just end it. Let's 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 cut it quick. No, no, no. Okay. No. Yeah. Let's let's episode three. Get get a quick thing in here real quick. Here's a game Cause, show because we're at fifty minutes. So there's no. Oh wow, we really we didn't even do right. So I mean, we don't. We can. We there's. No, I mean, no real game corner that we really need to worry about. Uh, okay. We can we can make this a short one. This is fine. Um. So that's that's the theme, um, guys. Let's, what are you willing to do? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is what For we, your fellow man is what we learned today. I don't think we learned much. I think we just kind of, let me just kind of bullshit it. I learned that um, you use too much heart and emotion when you're decision making. Thank you guys so much for downloading, for listening to us. Um, special thanks goes out to Jane, our producer. Uh, thank you so much to Jay Sada for our theme song, um, and of course the viewers and listeners like you. Please keep on listening. Please keep Give on commenting. Like, Remember subscribe. that we're still running the sketch contest. So that means everybody who comments, if you have the best comment out of everybody, even if there's already one, um, just one, uh, then you know you win a free sketch from Sam. We're gonna get the web address up and running, so that means we're gonna start getting some merchandise up and rolling. Please make sure to check out below, um, you know, uh, for this, that, and the other. Uh, go check out Olden Times. You guys will fucking love it. It's really great. Um, we got another couple of shows that are working in production. Sam of all right trades got out. dropped. Um, um, please let me know us. also. For Sam of all trades, let me know if you guys have any pages you want me to check out, uh, any Instagrams that I need to add because I'm just trying to figure out what are the best ones to start scrolling through. So let me know. And make sure to email us at bingeonthischannel uh, at gmail.com. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and then that's about that's it. That's about it. Right? Yeah. Until the time. next time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we have any other anything else that we need them to do. You guys don't have to do anything else. I think we're good. Take care, guys.